Beer Street Boys, alright! G'day, how are you? We are the Beer Street Boys. G'day, I'm Stewie. Uh, I'm David. I'm Dom, how are you doing? We don't know what we're doing, but we're just going to make a, uh, a YouTube video about drinking beer. And, um, and come with us, join us. What are we going to try first? Uh, well, we've got a range of the core range from Ballistic Brewing. Oh, I went out. Okay. I went out to the brewery yeah. and actually picked it up. Wow! Local beer. Look, I think it's going to taste better if you buy from Origin myself. These days, it's all about you know going straight to the supply. You know, supporting local businesses. So we've got the cold one. Who doesn't like a cold one? <laughs> eh? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's have a look. We've spent a lot of time as, as friends, you know, traveling all over the world and we love nothing more than hopping into a local bar and hopping. throwing... <laughs> oh, that wasn't even on purpose. So, uh, Stewie, I think you might have beer there a little bit. Uh, just, a little bit. Just, just a little bit. But uh, we thought, well, why not uh, just uh, bring the bar to you and to ourselves and uh, enjoy? 3.5. Yeah. Here we go. You can it have smells good. Yep. Having enjoyed a few craft beers over the last few years, or well, ever since they've become quite popular, um, I do. It has taken me a while to get used to them, or I guess <laughs> enjoy the flavour of them a lot more. <laughs> Sorry about that. that was... But uh, <clears throat> there's something to be said about having them really cold. And that now, yeah. So, where did you get these, Dom? Uh, I purchased these in a uh, German supermarket. It looks like a lager glass. It yeah. does, doesn't it? They're tiny little lager glasses that were once filled with mustard. We've got a whole carton here, but we're just we're we're just trying to not be too. We're silly. pacing ourselves because we want to get I through a lot like We want to do the flight. That's right. So right, that's the lager. There What's we go. What's this one called? They used to call it their dirty word lager um, because in the craft industry, a lot of people don't like lagers. I've heard is, this. I've heard this. I don't know why. Which I don't understand. I mean, we are we're that's Australians. Just, we love a lager. That's just hang on a second, Bill. I think that's oh what. Well, Hang on. Yep. Three. Yeah, I think that's silly. Oh, so, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Thank you, Dom. I think that's silly. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's crisp straight that's, away. That's vastly different from the one we just tried. I feel like it's a little bit more... It's a, it's, it's a little cloudier. On look. Maybe there's, maybe there's still a bit of mustard in the glass. I'm not sure. No? There's you a cleaned it. No, I cleaned it. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Well, well, well cleaned. <clears throat> Yeah, I can see what you're saying, Domi. I'm seeing a few little bits of pieces floating around in there. I don't so. think the smell is as strong as the last no, one. No, certainly not. No. Is there 3.5? It's a bit softer and it's a bit softer on the nose. Oh. Look, um, I once knew a bloke who would call beers like this, they'd call them the lawnmower beer. Oh. Where, you know, it's so refreshing mm. uh, that that's the beer you'd have while you're mowing the lawn. But that's the thing. I mean, if mm. you're drinking a beer that's whatever, eight, you know, we've been in a couple of Belgian pubs where um, things things get out of hand pretty quickly, mm, mm, mm. even for experienced men such as ourselves. Well, and again, it's going to all come down to climate. You're not going to be one punching an eight percent Belgian <clears throat> thick dark beer on a hot summer's day at a barbecue. But that you, you could hit the middle of summer while you're enjoying a sausage sizzle. Mm. I mean, pale ale's become a big deal. Oh, well, here we go. That smells like a pale ale. Yeah, and it's it's got a nice sort of orange. Mm, mm, you can color. you can Amber, pick a pale ale you, from a mile away. What I was always you know led to believe when, when when these sort of beers became popular was you're always mm. going to get this really overly hoppy sort of flavour but they've pulled back on a bit there and that's, that's very easy to drink yeah that's real doable it it hits the tongue with pace I think mm, mm. I like, like <laughs> I the way think. you put that it really hits the ground running yeah, yeah. Mm. like those lagers they were refreshing mm. yeah but this hits the tongue with pace yeah, it makes yeah. me want to go mm, I might have another sip mm. India pale here we go, here we go. Yeah. this is tasty alright who who I think I've looked this up recently. Mm -hmm. Why do we call it an India Pale Ale? Uh, because uh, back in the day, uh, they used to ship the beer from uh, Great Britain to India. Mm -hmm. But for it to last the distance, they had to put so much... Um, they put a lot of hops in it. And the hops would preserve the beer and it would make it to uh, India. That's, that, that's the story I know. Am I true? Or? Oh, I think I've heard that as well. Mm. I was um, about to I was about to call BS on that, but I, I think you call me out. I think but you're I right. Think that's true. The IPAs were originally a British invention because it's the same with a um, Russian, st like an oh, imperial stout, because they used to send that to Russia. Well, a little bit also like maybe. Uh, I mean, we are maybe that's a bit of bull. 
Uh, they're the fortified wine because it wouldn't last the journey from port back to England. So they would, uh, you know. Uh, now, wealth, wealth of knowledge there. We so love beer, beer but we beer. Are, we, we're we going to look at other alcohols as well. Um, and drink them, not just look at them, we'll also drink them as well and try them. Good idea. Yeah, for it's, worth, it's for, worth clarifying. Purely for research. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> think about... We're, we're looking at it for your best interest. What so do you think is, about the colour? Yeah. Well, we're, 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 we're drinking these so you don't have to. We're doing you a favour. Let me hold it up against the power sign. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that beer yeah, that's clearer. Yeah. Yeah, what does Wally definitely... think? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Yeah, yeah he's, the, he's the fourth member. It uh, reminds me quite a lot of probably the first IPA I started drinking en masse uh, because of the flavour and something a bit different but really enjoyable was the uh, Tui, the New Zealand... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Jeez, haven't we drunk a Tui or two? Well, uh, so, and spates, of, we, we gave that the one side of the <laughs> You have to drink your beer in a fancy glass. You do these, these days. days. Yeah. What is this glass? This is a glass inside a glass. It's it's insulating. Yeah. You're not, you're not, your beer's not getting warmer because of your fingers. See? It's possible that this is a oh, Stewie's from yeah. Stewie's Nespresso machine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> so you're kidding me. That's cool these days. It's kind of a bit uh, sort of tangy in a sense, and it's making me pull a certain face. And I just realised that some of the hops used in it were Magnum hops. <laughs> And so it's really giving me the. <laughs> I'm not getting. I'm not getting the oak. <laughs> I can tell you why. Because that's the next beer. Feel like I'm tasting the oak on a very sort of late run here. I've, I've, like before I've, you've even tried the next beer. Tried the oak. Oh, I'm not tasting that. <laughs> no, that's all you said before. Isn't it? The, yeah, uh, we're going for the fancy glass. Yeah. Which looks a lot like a champagne flute, but not, you know, it's a it, special beer glass. Uh, there is a lot of stuff about glasses, isn't there? And I think it's all about... Oh, this looks like a rosé. It's all about Maybe directing the aroma up towards oh, your nose. Oh, that's a good one. I'm smelling... I'm definitely getting wood here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You were, you had that Wait, one, in, you had that one ready myself. to go, didn't I you? I could <laughs> Yeah. It's like, that's really piqued me interest. Now, I just hope it's not let down by the time I sip it. We are surrounded by a lot of pine here. Let's not be confused by that as well. True. That, for me, is very sweet. It's the sweetest out of all of them, and I think it's because of the oak. I'm just going to have a little sip of the other one just to see. Yeah. The... Oh, hang on. Are we going to compare with that one? Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> not a fan no, of that one, are no. you? No, they've done pretty well, but that's just... just... This one I'm not into. So was that your pick, pale ale? <clears throat> For me, it was the pale ale. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of that oak. That was my favourite. Yeah. Siri, it's is that uh, is that interesting or interesting? <laughs> well, I think this one here is definitely. It's interesting, just yeah, just just yeah. So, so what's your pick? going in the bin? It's. it's... I definitely um, I was a fan of the uh, of the pale ale. Yeah. And the IPA was my favourite. There you go. That's the core range from Ballistic. Yeah. It's a song from the shed. Oh, here we go. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would, would you stand, stand up and walk out of me? I'll lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. And I'll try not to sing out of key. Ooh, I get by with a little love from my friends. Ooh, I get high with a little love from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends Do you need anybody? I need somebody to love Could it be anybody? I want somebody to love Ooh, I get by with a little help from my friends Ooh, I get high with a little help from my friends Ooh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Sorry, I started that conversation, then I lost interest. But that was beautiful. I, I really appreciated that. <laughs> one try, <it's> one try. <laughs> Under the I hate skateboard. I've run out. He's, he's got no beer. Yeah, no, beer. no, no, he, can, he can't go on without a beer. Oh, well, you can, you can fake it. You can drink it then.